Welcome to another episode of Mailbag, the video series where I show you what new stuff I received for my workshop and for my future projects. In this way you get an idea of what to expect for the next months, but also get ideas for what modules, devices, tools, sensors, new tech and components to use for your own projects. I buy and show them to you, so you don't have to before checking them out. But first some cafecito. It's not part of the mailbag, but it helps. Today we have some very interesting parts, so let's get started. My new project was requiring some flexible PCBs, and PCBWay was the right solution for that. And the order process is so simple. Just go to pcbway.com and select flexible PCBs. Upload your Gerber files as always and select your settings directly on their website. You also have the option for rigid flex PCBs if you want, and other settings for the color, the thickness, the gold immersion and so on. I received my PCBs in just a couple of days and they look amazing. The tracks are very small but even so, PCBWay did a great job and they have capabilities that go even lower than that and you could check them on their website. So try yourself their services for flexible PCBs like mine and like that you can complete your awesome project. And check more for other services for prototyping PCBs, automatic assembly, SMD stencil and much more on pcbway.com. What's up my friends, welcome back. From now on I will divide the mailbag videos into three categories. Devices, small components together with parts, modules and sensors, and then we have the tools, but I won't follow any specific order. The first thing I want to check out is this box filled with solar panel stuff. So be prepared for a full solar panels video series. But since I don't have all the parts yet, we have to wait for that video, but till then I want to show the inverter that I've ordered. This is a 2400 watt inverter from Vevor. You see, I've known Vevor for a long time and they make very good quality tools. And I wanted a low cost, but also a good inverter. In the past I bought a random one from Aliexpress and it lasted only 2 days. And if you remember, that was the reason that I started making my own inverter and learning about them. But I will start a new video series with an off-grid home and I wanted to start with something not that expensive, but good quality. And this can accept solar panels up to 75 volts and 1000 watts. A battery of 24 volts, but you also have the model of 48 volts. It could deliver a nominal power of 2400 watts at a voltage of 230 volts AC, full sine wave. It could also accept a generator or a direct grid input, so you could use it both remotely with batteries or mixed with the grid and solar. Let's check it inside. And this is where all the connections are made. And those are some thick connectors to withstand 100 amps of current from the batteries. And this is inside of it. Some good heat dissipators for so much power. And it also has some fans. And since the solar panel wires are going here, I guess that on this side we have the charger and on the other side we have the inverter. I can also see some temperature sensors, so in case of overheating it will shut down or maybe even lower the power. I can't wait to make my first solar system, so stay tuned for that. The next product I wanted to show you is this, and is still related with the solar panel project. Because you see, the project I will make will be off-grid, in the middle of a field. So my plan is to add solar panels, but also use a 4G router to add Wi-Fi. And in order to control the power of my solar panels, I bought this. The cool part is that this has Wi-Fi and IoT, so I would be able to monitor the power, the voltage, the temperature and the general status from anywhere in the world, for only around $15. On the app you can get all these values and know everything about your charging process. You even got an NTC for monitoring the temperature of the system. So if you also have a remote solar panel system and you have Wi-Fi, I recommend you this IoT breaker. The next product for this mailbag is this. This is a motor driver shield for the Arduino Uno and it will go on top like this. 
it has the L298H bridge driver. If you remember from the last week, I'm learning and making my own FOC system, and to run more tests, I wanted this IC as well. So I will use this shield that costs less than 10 euros, and it already has everything prepared. It has jumper pins so you could select different configurations. It has 4 outputs for a stepper motor or 2 DC motors. But I want to use only 3 outputs for a brushless motor, and see what I could do with it. For motor controlling, this shield is great for learning, so I really recommend you to get one if you also want motor driving tests. The next product is this simple OBD reader. It's compatible with any OBD output from any modern car. Since I've made a video about the CAN communication, I want to start testing around an Arduino to car communication. And to learn more I've got this OBD reader for only $6. It's basic and works with Bluetooth. So what I will try to make is to mimic its output and read a an car OBD with the Arduino and maybe a CAN communication and send the data with Bluetooth. So we will see. The next product is from the component category. You see, these are PCB pins, but are not the common pins I always use. These are a lot better, but not that much expensive. You see, these are round and shorter, and they are both female and male pins at the same time. I always have some projects where I add the PCB, some female pins, and then for example the Arduino on top with male pins. And that is very tall and occupies a lot of space. If you want a low profile, you must use pins like these ones. Also the connection is a lot better because they are round, so there is friction all around. Using the square pins, there is a lot less connection between the female and the male pins. So have these components in mind for your next project, links are below. The next product is a sensor and a module. This is an RTD, or resistive thermal device. You see, till now for temperature measurements I was using a thermistor or maybe a thermocouple. But for my new laser meter project, I need a lot more accuracy and I was told that the PT100 is the best choice. I also bought this black anodized metal knob and this will work perfect for my new laser meter project. The RTD sensor gets perfectly inside of the thread. To read the sensor we need this amplifier, the Max31865. And this works with SPI and is compatible with the Arduino library. It could measure temperatures between negative 200 and positive 850 degrees. So I will use this combo of three elements for measuring the laser optical power, so I really hope it will give me better results than the Peltier cell that I've used before. We will see. And by the way, I've also bought this tiny Peltier cell to test it out, so stay tuned for the new project. Next we have another tool that I bought for my workshop. I always wanted an ultrasonic cleaner. It's nothing fancy, just a cheap cleaner from Weber once again. And by the way, Weber is not sponsoring this video. I just like their products. This one is of only 800 milliliters because I don't need more than that. It usually works with distilled water, but you could use it with other liquids as well. It works at 40 kHz, so it's ultrasound, so we can hear it. It costs around $35, so now anytime I need to clean something very well, I will use it. Maybe I could test it with some resin prints, right? And now for the next stuff, I don't really remember if I told you that I was working on a PCP pressurized air gun project. But I'm not sure yet if I will post it on YouTube or not. I mean, it's called a gun and you know how YouTube is. I don't want to get a strike or channel ban. I want to make my own valve. That's why I have all these tubes and fittings and metal epoxy and rubber gaskets and so on. But now I've also bought this paintball valve to learn from it. It costs around $20, but I want to make a homemade one for way less money. But this is very nice and compact, so will I be able to make a homemade valve as good as this one? I also got this sniper scope for $20 as well from AliExpress. Because this gun project will be mixed with 3D printed parts, and I will try to make it as a replica. So this sniper scope will give it a nice final look. I will make a post for the valve video, but for the full gun project I'm not sure yet. And the last parts I wanted to show you for a future project are these ones. So let me know in the comments below if you guess for what projects this will be, before I tell you. 
so maybe just pause the video and comment below. Here I have some pancake stepper motors, some transparent extruder gears, a ramps board together with some stepper motor drivers, an optic sensor and an induction heater. So what could I use this for? Well, I want to make a 3D filament joiner. I will soon make a second version for my PET bottle filament machine and in order to join two filaments I want to make a machine for that. It must heat very fast so that's why I want to use an induction heater, which could reach 300 degrees in just a couple of seconds. It will also have a nice graphic screen with an Axiom display, but you already know how this works from some of my previous videos, right? It will be a cool project so stay tuned for that. I will share everything for free on my website as always. So guys that's it for today's mailbag. So what do you think, some cool projects coming soon or not? You have the links for all the parts in this video below in the description. I hope that you like my video and that you have learned something new about tools, components and devices. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it, and the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below, uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts, all this kind of stuff will support my channel, so thank you very much once again.